I'm uh, John Dawson, and I'd like to thank the Liverpool Senator from District 10 for pressing me in this service this morning. The, uh, I'm a family medicine uh, physician in Mountain View, Arkansas. I came through the APEC system. I was the first rural medicine, medicine residency, and uh, we graduated three residents out at all, which are participating in uh, rural medicine in a small town. It's the only uh, program that's been 100% effective in rural medicine. Um, I've been there for 15 years now, and uh, I can tell you that the health care reform has uh, already cost us uh, dearly in the small towns, and I believe that's what my wife wanted me to come talk about today. I've already seen over 100 patients this week in, in a small town where it travels fast and you're going somewhere. And uh, so I have 100 stories that I'm supposed to tell you guys today, but I guess I'll keep it short. Um, I think the first thing that we noticed was our drug reps disappeared. Uh, they were on fire. We uh, used to see 80 drug reps a month. Uh, now we see about three. Uh, many people felt like they were part of the problem. And unfortunately, in our small town, they provided us with tons of samples that we could provide to folks that could not afford the medications. Uh, my drug cabinet is here now, and so I don't even have to go look for the patients now. I just don't look, try to find something off Walmart for $4 this morning. Um, that was that was a major change and, and very detrimental to our practice as well as our community. Uh, the older folks in, in my practice will tell you that their Medicare rates have uh, skyrocketed. They're, some of them are having to pay co-pays to come see me. Some of them choose to see me as a self-pay patient instead of um, paying the co-pays because it's cheaper. Uh, and they also have difficulties getting their medications. If it's not on Walmart's four dollar list, many of these medicines have tripled the cost in the last several months. Um, a young couple, which I will relate their story, they asked me to share this with you. A uh, young man and his wife in their 20s and they have two children. Um, she, they went to renew their insurance this year, and uh, for her family, they offered them a rate of $1,200. But the young lady, they insured separately at a rate of $1,600 a year. And uh, when she asked why, they said they had reviewed her medical records and found that she had a leaky heart valve in her pregnancy. Well, it's very common and very, very uh, normal during pregnancy. She had a, she went to see a cardiologist, had a checkup, had him write a letter saying that was normal and send it into the insurance company, and they declined to adjust the rate. Um, and so her health care alone is costing more than the rest of her families. Um, and that's private insurance. And so it, it has really um, affected all of this already. Um, I have not been able to get a copy of the bill itself and to see how it's going to affect my practice. I have read this bill. And uh, I can tell you, it's, it's very similar to when a patient comes in and is requiring surgery. I'll uh, evaluate them, examine them from head to toe. I'll draw a lab on them uh, and perform an EKG on them um, and make sure that they are in the best state of health that they can be before they enter in that surgery and come out on the other side in a, in a good way. Um, I believe this bill does the same thing on a large version for our state. We just make sure that as things come in, that we're going to be able to deal with them and implement them and make sure that we all benefit from it in the future. So I'd have to agree that this bill is very good for our state and our patients. Um, 